Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps scene. In this video, we are going to learn Sonar Cube integration for Java Gradle project. And here you can see here I'm using droplet of digital ocean. Uh, you can see uh, this is Ubuntu droplet and in Ubuntu droplet, we are going to install GitLab runner, Java and Gradle. So here we are, I am using droplet of digital ocean. And here you can see this is my Sonar Cube dashboard. And in my Sonar Cube, I have only one project. You can see uh, the name my app. And here you can see this is my uh, repository of GitLab. So you can see uh, my repository name Sonar Cube Java Gradle. And in my repository, I have few files. So you can see uh, this is Gradle project. And now the first step is we are going to install GitLab runner on our digital ocean droplet that means Ubuntu. So you can see this is the official page of GitLab runner. And here, the first step is we are going to add the official GitLab repository. So firstly, copy the command. And then here you can see, here I'm using mobile stream to connect my uh, Ubuntu terminal. So it's done. Now clear the screen. And the next step is to install latest version of GitLab Runner. So here I, I have already installed GitLab Runner. Now clear the screen. And now if you want to check the status of your GitLab Runner, then run the commands so GitLab hyphen runner status. So you can see a GitLab Runner service is running. Now clear the screen. And the next step is, and the next step is run the command sudo v sudo. And here you need to add two lines in a user, uh, sorry, user privilege specifications. Firstly, for GitLab runner, then for user so here the username is ubuntu now save the file and exit so it's done now the next step is register gitlab runner so if you scroll down you can see the fourth step register runner so click on it and here if you scroll down you can see the command for linux so you can, uh, this is the command. So copy the command to register GitLab runner. It will ask enter the Git, uh, GitLab instance URL for example like this. So for that you need to go to your GitLab repository, then settings, then CI CD. And here you can see the option runner. So click on expand. And here you can see the instance URL. Then enter the registration tokens. So you can see the token. So copy the token. Then enter a description. So here I will assign my runner. Then tags. So DevOps. Then enter an executor. So here I will choose shell. Now you can see your runner registered successfully. So let's check. So refresh the page. You can see a my runner. So sometimes they give us error. So the solution is click on edit. Then indicates whether this runner can be job without tax and then save changes. Now it's done. Now let's take the next step. So the next step is 
installing open jdk on ubuntu 20.04 ltr so for the first step is you need to update your system package okay it's done now clear the screen and now we are going to install java that means open jdk So I can say yes. Now it's done. So let's check the version of our Java. So run the command Java hyphen hyphen version. So you can see this is the latest version of Java 11.0.13. Now clear the screen. And let's check the next step. So the next step is install Gradle on Ubuntu. So firstly, we need to inside that TMP directory. Then we are going to download specific version of gradle so now we are going to install gradle so the for, for, so for that firstly we need to inside pmp directory then now we are going to extract uh, these uh, zip files so for that firstly we need to install unzip if you uh, you can see here install unzip on ubuntu if not installed now clear the screen and now we are going to extract gradle package so it's done now clear the screen and now set the environment variables so now open this particular uh, file and in that file we are going to paste these two lines that means set environment variables now save the file and exit and now the next step is load the environment variable using below command and then the next step is give the executable permission to for that run this command now it's done now clear the screen now if you want to check the version of our gradle then run the command gradle hyphen v So you can see uh, the details of our Gradle. Now clear the screen. And now let's check the next step. Now the next step is after that, we need to add these lines into build.gradle file. So for that, go to your repository and then click on repositories. And here, open the build.gradle file so here the file click on edit and here in plugins we need to add this line for sonar cube Now click, click on commit changes.
now it's done now the next step is add variables in your gitlab repository for that firstly we need to generate sonar token so go to your sonar cube here and click on this administrator so here you can see a my account so click on my account and here go to the security and here firstly we need to generate tokens so give any name so here i will assign demo generate and now copy the token and paste in your notepad and now now go to your repository and here click on settings then ci cd now we are going to add two variables here the first variable is uh, sonar token and then the second variable is sonar host url that means the sonar cube url click on add variable now the first token is sonar token now copy the token and paste in value section remove protect variable flag and check it mask variable click on add variable then the second variable is sonar host url and here you need to paste this url now remove protect variable flag and click on add variable okay now it's done now the next step is create dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yml that means our pipeline so copy the code and now we are going to create our pipeline so click on repository and then files and now here click on this plus icon then new files then enter a name of your pipeline dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yml then paste the code so here we have added variable so remove this variable section then here this only tags for this uh, only run this pipeline for ma main or master branch so if you don't want then you can remove this only tag now click on commit changes Now let's check our pipeline. So it's running. so wait for wait for few seconds
so you can see your job succeed so let's check in our sonar cube so click on projects and here you can see the second project sonar cube java gradle so in this video we have learned in this video we have learned sonar cube integration for java gradle project so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops engine channel